I'm Bill Williamson, and I'm doing whatever. You're watching Meat Report. Where are you today? What's the background? This is uh, the Butcher's Market in Washington, D.C. So there's a bar at the Butcher's Market. It doesn't look like a typical butcher's shop. It's quite interesting. So what's it like there? Why don't you describe what, we were, what we're looking at? What do you want to, you want a whole tour? This is a bar with glasses. Basically, this was a bar pre-COVID. Now it's a butcher's oh. shop. So it was a bar, but now that they can't, they can't see customers, we've converted it to a butcher's shop. Now that, that is innovation. Taking a bar and converting it into a butcher shop because that's all you can do. I would love to have Bill Williamson on the show sometime so that he can explain how he converted this bar into a butcher shop. Yeah, I think it'd be good. I mean, he did it step by step, but basically, yeah, it's a bar. It's no longer a bar. Now it's a butcher shop with fresh meat and seafood. Where was Bill when you took this picture? I don't know. Maybe in the back somewhere. By the piano. Oh, there's a piano back there. Wow. A butcher yeah. shop with a piano. How many butcher shops in the world can say that they have a piano in their butcher shop? And it works. It's a working piano. You mean it's not a broken piano? Wow. I don't think so. That's even more obscure. Usually butcher shops have broken pianos in them, but not <laughs> ones that work. <laughs> I know. That's true. So true. But in the background of the butcher shop, you can't see it. There's a, there's, a, there's a mixer. There's a table for making fresh pasta. Uh, there's a walk-in. You know, we have a walk-in, of course, to keep the meat. There's a saw back there. There's a knife sharpener back there. We saw the knife sharpener on a previous episode. Yeah, there's a little sheet pan over there on the bar. See it? A little quarter-sized sheet pan. That's what we use to weigh the meat. What else? See the roll of tape? It's green. Wait, move over? Is there... This way? Is, no, the other way. This way. The other way. The other way. The, oh, this way? That's oh. Bill Williamson behind you. Oh, hey, buddy. What's going on? He's there greeting customers. A lot of times since he runs a small business himself, we printed one of those, those lifelike. We call it the store attendant. So when he has to go to the restroom, he can put that there in the front of the counter. He has a, a device inserted in the back. It's taped on the back of his head with that green tape. And he, if he's in the restroom, he, it's like that ring thing when you can see people and he can talk to them through this cardboard, it's cardboard Bill Williamson. Bill is, is so inventive and, and innovative. Well, you find that with people, people that have been in the restaurant business, Hotel, hot, hospitality, very resourceful. They have to be very uh, willing to adapt quite quickly. And that's, that's the, true of any small business owner. Could be a ladder maker. Like, you have that ladder in the back? Does anyone come over and climb up that? I would love to see someone one time when we do the video to be in the background climbing up. To Thanks for watching Meat Report. Tune in next week where we'll talk about... Um, something else. Thanks. It's been great. Good night. <laughs>